Hi, I'm Bill Lubick, County Agricultural Agent for Rutgers Cooperative Research and Extension. If you aren't familiar with us, RCRE is the public outreach wing of the State University. We exist through a unique relationship, the cooperative funding by county, state, and federal governments. Most of the counties in the state have an extension office to serve their clientele, and many of us offer services to other neighboring counties as well. Basically, my job in the Agricultural and Natural Resource Management Department is to work with local farmers, landscapers, or homeowners to help them solve problems they may have with their soils, intrusive wildlife, disease, or other pest or plant problems. Here in the Middlesex County office, we've recently become better equipped to accomplish this task because we've moved out here to the wide open spaces of Davidson's Mill Pond Park in South Brunswick. This nearly 500 acres of open space is one of the most picturesque areas in the county but it's the workable land that will enable us to offer more horticultural and agricultural programs than ever before. Besides agriculture, there are other departments that are part of our extension family. 4-H is a well-known department that focuses on youth development. 4-H offers kids an opportunity to get involved in or even start clubs that match their interest. Participation instills good record-keeping skills, a sense of leadership, and a knack for public speaking. Since our county has always had a strong 4-H network, Many of their activities take place at the 4-H Center in East Brunswick. RCRE also includes the Family and Community Health Sciences Department, which offers the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program, or FNEP for short. The FNEP program helps to make sure that low-income families get the most out of their grocery budget by teaching programs at locations where their clientele are already taking other classes. So you see, whether we travel to our clientele or invite them to our New Earth Center, your extension service is all about offering education and research-based information to the people of Middlesex County. Our new Earth Center is also headquarters for the Master Gardener Environmental and Community Stewardship Program. Master Gardeners are volunteers trained by myself and other Rutgers experts in the latest in environmental stewardship with an emphasis on horticulture. In return for this training, Master Gardeners agree to spread the word at speaking engagements or through the county's Master Gardener Helpline. One person on our staff who helps organize the Master Gardener program is Donna Pemberton. Now let's visit with her to look at one of the park's newest features. Hi, I'm Donna Pemberton, program assistant with Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Middlesex County. I'm standing in a spectacular herb garden located in Davidson Mill Pond Park in South Brunswick. This garden was created by the Master Gardeners of Middlesex County. Because the pathways are wide, the garden is accessible to many. Now to give you an idea of what went into creating this garden, over 500 eight inch blocks, 300 caps, and 64 corner pieces were used to construct the beds. They were then filled with topsoil and compost, planted with the herbs, and mulched. This truly was a labor of love by the master gardeners. Let's take a look at some of the interesting herbs we have growing this season. This is Epizote, a very pungent herb used in a lot of Mexican bean dishes. This beautiful herb is purple sacred basil. In India, it's planted near many temples. Here we use it as an ornamental. Let's take a look over here at another interesting herb. This herb is called Stevia or sweet leaf. And let me tell you, the leaves are indeed sweet. Many people today are beginning to use this as a substitute for sugar in their cooking and baking. There's just so much for you to see and smell at this beautiful herb garden at Davidson Mill Pond Park. I hope to see you here soon. Once you've got your garden planted, at some point you may have some problems, whether it be with insect, disease, or drought. That's when you may want to turn to the knowledge of your county's master gardeners. Our master gardeners come from very diverse backgrounds, but they all have a passion for plants. So now let's meet with a few of them. I'm Max Nimick. I'm one of the master gardeners at the Extension Service. I'd like to welcome you to my garden. And one of the ways I enjoy my garden is to bring out my brushes and paint, especially in the spring. I've done a lot more painting since I retired, and I teach a couple of classes in watercolor and show my paintings through the Watercolor Society in New Jersey. Both gardeners and artists respond to color, and so there's a closeness between the two. And uh, you might try 
painting your own garden as I have, enjoy your garden a little more fully. Hello, I'm Fred Primich, a retired chest surgeon living in Metuchen. My interest in gardening uh, goes back to my childhood when during the 30s, during the Depression, uh, it was a part of living to uh, have a good garden. Subsequently, during World War II, it was my responsibility to dig and care for a victory garden. In 1993, I saw a relatively unique container that again got me interested in container gardening where I didn't have to do any digging. Container gardening is for all ages, both young and old. Get out, enjoy gardening, and grow your favorite. Your local extension office still offers the same valuable educational programs and services it always has, like plant and pest ID, soil test kits, educational programs on pesticide applicator training. But now we feel we're located in a place where we can offer so much more. Thanks for joining us today at the Middlesex County Extension's new Earth Center.